afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the August Monday meeting of the Local Planning Council on the 27th. Uh, welcome to the members of the public and to our community council. Thank you very much for coming. Agenda item one is apologies. Receive apologies. No apologies. We are present. Thank you very much. Declarations of interest, agenda item two. Members are asked to declare to record any disposable pecuniary interest they may have in respect of items on the agenda. Sally Ann. Number 14. Number 14. It's about the parking originally in Kelvin Road. I would like to know the same. Okay. So you'll be together. You've got the care of the pecuniary interest. No. So you're reclaiming interest in respect of parking. Okay. Any other information on interest? So just send that information that's along the screen. Okay. Agenda item three then. Confirm the minutes of the meeting held on Wednesday, the 12th of July. First of all. <coughs> Councillor Brooks. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There's an error on the 12th of July minutes 452.97. So four five. Four five two one seven. Oh. I didn't propose the motion and I voted against it, whereas many did that I proposed it. And, and, uh, and the, the recording of the vote should be correct. We should say that in all then. So you say you did not have No, and I do remember I actually stood up to object to because I didn't feel there was a need to exempt the item. Okay. Do you recall who did? I, I don't recall. You did, I watched the video. Did I? I did, did yes. I? Okay. And they okay. were only seconded it, but the votes were unanimous. Well, sorry, everybody except me. I voted against it. So you're saying that it should be that I proposed? So seven votes for and one abstention. Mm -hmm. Malcolm saying you voted against. That should be against. Okay, yeah, I'm just apologising for that. Okay. Well, if I can have them, can I vote against? Thank you. Uh, Proposed, I'll accept. Have we had the okay? Do I have a second for that? Please, a second. All those in favour, would you be amendment? Against? Abstaining? Two abstentions. Two abstentions. Sally Ann, four issues. Yeah, yeah. Three. Sally Ann. Sally Ann, four. I thought you said you were. No, I uh, said four. Oh, sorry, that was so sorry. I'll do my Yeah, that's fine. Next amendment to confirm the minutes of the extraordinary meeting held on Friday, the 23rd of June. Any comments? No comments? No. Made proposed by. Hey. Joyce, seconded by David. All those in favour? No, you can't. Oh, no. <coughs> All those in favour? Yeah. Against? No. Yeah, and you're not complaining. Last one to confirm the minutes of extraordinary meeting on Wednesday, the 19th of July. Councillor Brooks? Yes, it refers to the exemption of it, um, 458. It says that I took away the report. Uh, I'd like that struck for the minutes because all I kept was the recommendations which I received from you the following day described as sanctions on the email. So I think it's incorrect to say I took the report away. Just. <laughs> Just doesn't sit easy with me. I, I don't understand why, on the second page, on to the fourth paragraph down, we, we've, we've had to minute that during submission it was actually the chairman to request council books on three occasions to stop interrupting the council. I, I don't so, know. Where, where are we looking on, on the, 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 the red paper? Which paragraph? One, two, three, four. On the second. Fourth or second. Yeah, excuse me. I just don't understand why. That, that bit is in there. Is it the same sense? Uh, can, we, can we just have, can we, 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 can we
we're going to discuss the contents. I'm not against the council of discussing it, but we have to oh, go right, into it. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking you to make sure that we exempt this part of the uh, meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
That's all excitement. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Item five councils questions. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? Um, um, I did submit a question. I didn't see what Councillor Brooks. Well, I send my emails and you get them. You're not removed from my list of sending to you. Okay. I haven't had an email from you. The density chain has it as well in every other member of the council. So this is why the sanctions, as you say, they're not are affecting council business. Well, I'm not going to debate the point now. Okay, I'm going to ask the question. Excuse me. I'm speaking. Excuse me. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm, not gonna argue, I'm not going to argue, I haven't had anything from you, so there's no question. Right, move on to the clerk's report, please. <coughs> I'm sorry, but that's not, I want Thanks to ask the question. But I'd like it minuted that my question has been refused. Councillor Brooks, I have not had a question. Well, if you like, I will open the email and show that it went to you. I have an email here. Councillor Brooks, please, please, sense. I'm not going to get into a debate with this. I have not had an email from you. We're now on to agenda item seven, deputation from the public. I do believe Sorry, we're Chair, are we not discussing the, the um, Is it the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 we'll have to comment on it. No. no. It's 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 the yeah. We have been allowed to comment in the past, and there are a couple it's, of serious it's, it's matters on here. Like no authorisation for this payment. The report is reported. No, when sorry, please, sorry, please when, please when please we get this is what we have. No, we need to talk about this Council because this is why the council's not working. Council we just want a piece of paper here that we can't comment on that a cheque has been raised for eight thousand pounds. That should come to council as a payment of five thousand pounds for approval before it's please, before it's paid. That's what I'm asking. Agenda item seven, deputations by the public. Yes. Thank you very much. This council is becoming a party. Please, no. oh, please, no, please, 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 I'd have to because you are disrupting the meeting. You're not complying with standing orders. No, and nor are you so because please you wouldn't allow me on. to have my okay, you know, you know that that. Okay. Please. Okay. Yeah. So I hello, I'm John Law from the South Division Children Local Access Program. Okay. So Sorry, I can I just say that I'm there? I'm Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you for my voices. That's all right. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> I apologize. Um, we're very interested in Kirkhouse Crows and Park. Uh, we, as a South Lincoln Chair and Rook from Local Access Forum, we have a group, a subgroup, that promotes access to the countryside for the disabled. And we have a variety of projects going on. One of the projects we did last year was a disabled, uh, sorry, to train people to leave dementia friendly strolls. And that's actually happening now uh, to the Lodge Trust. Now we've got further funding, sorry, further yeah, funding okay, yeah. to uh, train the further seven people. And what we'd like to do is train those seven people so that those dementia friendly strolls can happen in Oakham, where we've got the biggest population anyway in the Uplands. And it's far better that people actually walk to where they want to go rather than drive. And this possibility that some don't have a car to be able to in the way. So we're looking at Coast Coast Park and we're looking also at the castle grounds. Now, Coast Coast Park, park is a lovely park, but in terms of accessibility for people in wheelchairs, going from the car park up towards the castle grounds, that is.
it's very limited because it is a very narrow plan. What we'd like to see happen, and my would only act as advisors because we that's our status, if you like. What we'd like to see happen is that width of the plan increase to at least a metre, preferably with three passing places on the route, some seats for resting areas so people can actually enjoy the park rather than use it as a cut through, and also some sensory planting along the way. It doesn't have to be all along the route, and it does cost money, I understand that. But maybe if you did go that way, if you did choose to go that way, maybe people who have learning difficulties or various groups would like to help in maintaining that for you. So what I've also had uh, in last week, I spoke to a lady from Dementia Adventure who runs their courses for us. We've done numerous ones in Dementia and she's quite happy to come, should you wish her to, to have a site meeting and talk about Cuts Close Park and how it could be improved. But I understand money is an issue and you pour it like something on the table. It would just be nice if we could make it all inclusive and this would benefit everybody, not just people that have dementia, but all people with health and health, health and well-being issues, improve that mental health issues, improve that for everybody as well. We know from research that there's plenty of evidence stacking up that shows that everybody who's out in the countryside it helps their general well-being and health the other way around. But that's my call. Apologies for that. I'll take any questions. Can I just ask what did I hear you say Lodge Trust? Yes, at the Lodge Trust. As Market Open. That's right. Do you know they were my patients? Oh <laughs> yes. And they're doing that once a month. Yes, they are. The yes, they are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, agenda item eight, working groups to group strategy, the lot of the reports on the agenda papers, neighborhood plan, finance working group, policy and procedures, and promotion of publicity. Updated okay, action plans, do you have any comments, questions? Mm -hmm. okay. So the first three then are from the fourth one. We have um, the same Yes. Yes. Um, <coughs> the neighbourhood plan steering group. Um, I've said it before. Six pages of just repetitive, very basic comments and not reports. The, the, the neighbourhood plan has issues. Um, some councillors have commented about things here. We are successfully <coughs> having an input as a town council. We're not having an input as a town council. Um, yeah, but I'm just, just sorry, yeah, I've got three minutes. Yes, and it's I'm not, not, it's not three minutes to just slate a working group. No, it's not slating a working group. It's, it's to so actually so point so. out an issue. Um, so can you point we, out we, issue? We, the issues are we are not getting comprehensive reports from the neighbourhood plan, i.e. we soon be losing the local clerk or consultant clerk who is supposed to be getting a grant. It would be nice to have an update to know what the situation of that is. Who are the new people that have been appointed and what are they doing? And who authorised the £40 pounds expenditure? Because this council didn't authorise the working group to have delegated powers to make decisions on how they spend council money. So that's point one, the neighbourhood plan. Um, finance working group, well, no one will make any comments on that, but um, the promotions one, um, I'm a little bit concerned that um, they just want to buy some postcards. I don't, personally, I don't see that the postcards are a, a viable source of expenditure. It's not a big amount of money, but to just be giving away free postcards is not, to me, I don't think it's something we should be doing. But I would like to just go back as you obviously involved with the neighbourhood plan and really take it on board that it is our working group and we don't get proper reports. This is not proper reports. It just doesn't tell us anything. 
And I'd also like to question answer who authorized the 40 pounds expenditure that's on there. Because if you read your last hours of working groups to spend money, it's still about the That's all second agenda. It hasn't been authorized. But it's been spent, hasn't it? That's the Swiss on training, heritage training, it's a. It didn't say where that money comes from. Did that money came from a person's own pockets. Well, why is it no, all here? No, can't. If it's coming from September meeting. So it doesn't make sense, Chairman, because okay. that's normally it's, if it's come out of a person's pocket, why 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 is it listed on task and why is it listed on here when normally this is for us to authorize expenditure? You haven't been asked to authorize that, you'll be asked to authorize that in September. But then could we have clearer explanations on the reports then we wouldn't have friction because they are just rubbish. Any other comments from anyone else? Before we move on to the. Come to touch base on this one. Yes. Yes. Just uh, the promotion of publicity working group, which I, I, I pointed out last month, I color coded it. Green being that it's complete, you see something red because it's potentially overdue. I'm drawing your attention purely to the large yellow box which I um, filled in because this was discussed by the promotion publicity working group but we're looking at the council do are aware and basically authorise the items and expenditure by look for the final bank concept so we are looking for, for that to be accepted by the council this evening basically okay so that very much that being said now is to bring your attention what what we will make aware of last week's month thank you and we probably didn't stress it enough. Yeah. Yeah. If there's any comments, then probably you'll always feed back. Otherwise, we're looking to propose that we want to find this out. What's your proposal? I propose that the £900. Just a second, look at that. Yeah. And second it first. Okay. All those in favour? Yes. Yeah. 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 What's this one? It's £900. Because I've got a comment there as well. What can I find that? All right. So we're voting on all those in favour of the £900. I can't see that, but I thought I'd read that because I thought it was listed like yours, so I only looked at the last page. It's the first time I've seen it. Are you voting for or I was voting for it, so I just read that. Thank you, Chairman. Sorry. Uh, can I make a comment? On that one? Yes, you know. Of course, uh, promotion isn't just about having events. And uh, of course, um, Council Brooks is, uh, can make his own comments. But postcards are part of a promotion working group. They are given out to the visitors. So please just be mindful that promotion is just not about events in the park. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, moving on then to item number nine, cuts and flows of the parkway, appendix C. And I'm going to call on Adam to present this. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, happy to, this is the parkway, isn't it? Um, the first thing I'll say um, is that there have been some developments since this was presented to council, and I'll try and keep it as concise as I can. The first thing I will say is that all the Beautiful documents that you can supply this evening, the map, the spec, the photographs. Can I ask you all to hang on to those? Because I think this will probably be better than third. Um, the reason being, as been highlighted by Martin, is that this is considerably higher. When we had this quoted in September 2016, we had a quote that basically equated to about £25,000. That's what we budgeted. The reason it now appears to be £35,000 just for one part of the path, and it is £22,000 for the other part, so looking at a £60,000 budget now, so it's more than doubled, um, is the spec that was suggested by Rutland County Council was that it had concrete path edges on it. And it's the concrete path edges being put along where there aren't any that has pushed the price up dramatically. The person last year that quoted didn't, didn't quote for concrete, they just going to put a timber edging down there. 
When we put this out, we, I did put it out to three people. I approached five different organisations, which were recommended by Rutland County Council. Only two replied, one of which is the, the quote by the people that you see at 13, 6, and 25, or 35, 25. And then one company replied back and said, uh, we're not in a position to tender because we're too busy. So my concern is, because I have got concerns, it has gone up substantially. The guy that did quote actually said, the biggest part is the path engines. Can you see if you can get the spec reviews delivered? Will the local authority, county council, the unitary authority, allow you to do it without the concrete edgings? There's two parts to that. If they agree, then I would recommend that we go out to tender and approach the same organisations again. So that if we go out to tender for these advertising as well. Um, if, and also it might be that you can just feel that you actually want to have concrete path engines because it might actually give longevity to the work that's being done. Because if it is going to cost between 30 and 60,000 pounds and it isn't edged, will it degrade over time? So there's a couple of things to think about. A, do you, as a council, we want concrete edgings, or do you want me to continue? I have sent an email through to RCC to say, can we do it without? If we if we want it, then, then we will we'll stick with it. If they turn around and say, we have to have it, then we will stick with it. <laughs> if they turn around and say, we don't need it, and we're happy not to have it, then we, we have to certainly retender. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. Oh yeah, preliminary planning. I have actually asked for preliminary planning. This doesn't cost anything. I can actually submit a, an email or a document through to Rutland County Council saying, <coughs> given the spec, given what we want to do, do you think we wouldn't have to pay for, pay for planning? So the whole thing really, I brought it all back. I was expecting there'd be more people quoting, and I wasn't expecting to be as much as what there was, and if there was a typo as well, and I probably now feel that the thing should be probably deferred until September to give us a chance. But if we do defer it, there'll be two decisions right. One that we defer it until September. And the second one is that the council do agree that we go out to tender. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily straight away, but subject to what Rutland County Council come back and say to us. And could we with, with a timber agent for, for information for us, um, could we have from somebody an indication of how long we could put what, what is the life of a, a channelized timber engine as opposed to? Oh, yeah, you, you look at, well, you're certainly looking at less than 10 years, and you're probably looking at only five because it'd be buried. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the concrete which you would expect to last. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think Peter was next. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, yes, that was going to be my question. I think preferably if we can have the two options and then maybe meet in a month and just see the difference in costs and um, work out the you know the longevity and the the, um, the output. I mean, it may be at the end of the day we have to bite the bullet and pay the big the big one. Can we also bear in mind the gentleman who spoke for the access group? There were some good points there, and I think we really need to be up to speed on that. We don't want to build something and then find that um, it can't be used by some of the disadvantaged uh, people. Um, and I think the point has been made before, presumably the archaeological reviews, etc. These will only be two or three days, we're not talking of weeks, are we? Oh, there's a few, a few points. So, answer these as we go. Yeah. Um, in answer to the, uh, the spec, if, if I personally would prefer concrete edging, uh, to actually answer the point that the member of the public brought up, if we are, we have asked that the path would be looking at 1.2 meters, so which is more or less the same as the other ones. Um, what was the second thing? Was, was oh, archaeological thing. The works if it was just the lower path and just for clarity the picture that was sent to the um or the contractors had got written on it lower path and upper path that's not on your documents but it was on mine so just for the lower path it would take 12 days now if archaeological came out every day that's 300 pounds per day approximately so that would be on top of whatever was quoted so yeah and if we did have to play, if we had to pay planning, it would be about £450. And if we had to do, and it is a road closure, and that's paper, it is classed as road closure because it's highways, the road closure could be about £400 as well. Okay. Thank you.
But they might wait, right? But that was like a cool hack for them. Um, I'm just going to ask a uh, councillor in case he's got some information. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Then, then I'll come to you. Very briefly, mm -hmm. it's just this is a subject close to my heart because I've spent my life doing this sort of work. Personal advice based on my own experiences don't even contemplate wooden edgings, especially yeah. at the top path. It's not worth it. You're throwing money away. If you are going to do it, settle for half the work and do it properly. Because you will lay yourselves open for well, potential claims in the future if the path deteriorates, which it will. Thank you, Chair. Thank, Thank you very much, much for that advice. <coughs> Joyce, you're next. Yeah. You can sit. Yeah. Can you stand yeah. Okay. First of all, I'm going to say that I'm not going to Adam. This has been a tremendous amount of work. The second point is, and he will know I'm going to say it. I would have liked to have seen the closed path on the top of the ridge taken up and laid to turf. Nowhere can you put a tarmac footpath between trees. So that would have been a good idea to have included that. And can I just say, had the council, because there are new councillors here that don't know this bit, I tried to get um, um, a temporary, come on, temporary lady to take over doing a, a heritage lottery fund grant. It would have taken her six weeks. She's done the lottery grant for upstairs at Vicky, Victoria Hall. It was refused. We could have done it. this for parks for people, together with new fencing all around and seats. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I think I need to say that to the okay. new amendments. But once again, thank you, Adam Well, for all the work. It's not in Yes. I'm not sure that heritage not really would consider a tarmac apart from the Yes, it is. Let's do right. it. Um, going so on, the subject, uh, on the subject of this and the grants and funding of it, we obviously, even if we end up going with this quote to do the highest spec, we don't have the money. I think we have about £45,000 um, left in that. One of you hawks need money. Um, but we also keep getting told it's only this amount and the VAT is being ignored. The VAT bumps it up a lot. The VAT bumps it up a lot. And we should be taking into consideration VAT because we keep being told we can claim VAT. But my understanding, and I'm not an expert, none of us are experts around the table, you can only claim VAT if you're spending. You know, if you've got an income, and we don't have an income to offer. I'll answer your question. No, can I finish? I'm sorry. Um, I, I would support that, that Councillor Lowe um, defers this, but I'd actually second what Joyce said, or Councillor Lucas, that it's a lot of hard work, and perhaps we should set up a working group to help with the next process of this, because we've got to look at funding, and I don't think we should be ignoring the other parts either, because some of those are in an appalling well, we are, state. Yeah, to keep this agenda, the agenda item. Yeah, it's the parts in the park. So it's I'm, the one in cuts close. Yes, that's yes. what I'm talking about. We yeah. cut close the whole thing, where the council is just really, it's not our fault, it's a historic thing. There's been no maintenance for years. And then bollards were put up on the path that Councillor Lucas mentioned as a temporary measure probably four to five years ago. So we do need to look at all the paths. And it's, it is embarrassing having the access people here because those signs actually forbid people in wheelchairs from using it, mobility scooters, and it's supposed to be a path for everybody. So I would like to see that we look at this possibly as a whole project with all the parks in that area and that may help bring some of the costs down if it's a I don't know I'm not an expert but it's really it, it okay. needs looking at properly I, I, will, I will just answer two questions 
Um, this will be our six two and a half thousand pounds, of which I think six thousand pounds is gone, so we've got fifty odd thousand there. Secondly, the, we are VAT registered, therefore we can be able to back on a quarterly basis. That's, so we do not pay VAT. Okay, and the, you next year. I don't know who next because I'm actually. Oh, yeah. okay. and, okay. Please keep part. I would like to thank um, Councillor Law because it looks like a never endless job. I wouldn't know where to start, but I do know that we do need the cement or whatever they do engines to a park. Otherwise, it just crumble away in no mm. time at all. And I think that if we don't wait another year to have this done, it's going to go up even further. Yes. And then we'll have complaints from the councils again about the, the initial cost last year, the initial cost this year, because we're living in the past quite often on this council. We need to look at the here and now and the future. And I think the sooner we get started on part of it, even the better. Thank you for that. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, 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 there's two proposals, I'll do, and I'll do with two. The, the first one is that yes, it, it's <coughs> deferred making decisions on what we do. Um, and the second proposal is. Let's do it one yeah, so the first proposal is that we defer the decisions about appointing a contractor because we haven't, I don't think we've got enough information. Okay. So that's the first proposal. Second, second, all those in favour? Against? Abstentions? And then the second proposal is. <laughs> you can <didn't> say that. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Thank you, um, The second proposal is is that the council authorise expenditure of two hundred and fifty pounds so that we can tender. We can advertise to get people to the. So two hundred fifty pounds of print. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the proposal is we we, we authorise two hundred fifty pounds for advertisements for tenders. That's seconded. All those in favour? Oh, sorry, two hundred eighty-six. Two hundred. So two hundred and eighty-six pounds. Yeah. You seconded it. All those in favour? Where are we advertising? Uh, it would probably be the what we do with the front lines and front yeah. All those in favour? Yeah. We'll go on the website and it also go, could go on the MRA. Um, yeah. Those against? No, you got your I'm a spare, so. okay. Sorry, you're I'm a you got an abstention. Okay. And please hang on to those papers as well. Say printed. Okay. The general item 10 is the trees at Waters Recreation Ground. Alison, I'm not sure what to do. Um, um, well, originally, this came from the Council of Brooks from residents um, mm -hmm. on Colbert to know that they wanted their tree felled. Mm -hmm. All the tree behind and the boundary had been cut for those, I mean, for this is not so. Mm -hmm. um, and I asked the tree warden um, if she would like to do a report as well. So, um, but the decisions that are required on the report come out. Are we all quite clear where the tree is to start with? We all know where yeah, well. the tree is. <laughs> You can be wrong. I'm asking a question. We all, all know what we're talking about. Yeah? Is that right? Okay. Councillor Brooks. Yes, Reverend well, Park just kindly noted this was my agenda item and it was refused. Um, it then, well, I was told that it would come to council and then I was most surprised to find that there was no input from myself. As I was asked by the resident to represent them, as I did in 2015, there's an email that the resident wants councillors to see. I took photographs and wrote a very brief request to council. And I'd like to know the lawful reason why the clerk decided not to present any of that to council this evening. And that the nothing is not helpful because. If it happens to any other councillor, I should think they would stand up and ask why their agenda item isn't being put towards council. Um, also, also in 2015, the council voted maintenance agreement. Sorry. I the resident yes. um, and I think 
attached to an email or a call. Well, you've heard what the clock is. When I did the clock responded that way. So we have got so let's get back onto the agenda. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I know Councillor Lucas's report as tree warden, but I'm disappointed that really the report is recommending that nothing is done and she's put it in red or someone has until 2019. This council agreed to do something every year in 2015 when I brought it to council at the request of, of members. So why is it now we're not going to do anything? Um, you know, I this is a, the, the issue to me is not the tree. The issue is the relationship between residents. Well, we are the and, and, and I'm going to stop the council as well. As soon as the agenda item is dealing with a tree, it's not dealing with relationships. With but it would have done, it would have said the relationship between the council if I was permitted my agenda. And it's been 14 years of problems for those but residents. Now, but what we are discussing is the agenda item in front of us. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to get so some we, insight to some of the new please, members. Can you please don't <laughs> so you, this is why you wouldn't allow their email or anything, because you like typically want to sweep everything oh, under the carpet no. and not deal with it. Yes, we will approve to do yes. something in 2019, yes. and the yes. problem is not going to go away. We have got a and you keep, keep interrupting me constantly right, and don't allow me to speak. I'm trying to get you get back to the agenda item. I was We're talking there. about the agenda item. There's nothing on this agenda item which refers to relationships with members of Because the it was withheld by the office, and it's typical right. of the office. Okay. And then the residents don't even Please. mind if I give their Please. name, but I won't because Please. she's not here. But we have a serious Please. problem here that needs to be dealt with, Chairman. And, and the way it's been handled by this council is not acceptable. I can't stand up till he sits down. You know that. Yes. Please, let's just, let, me just remind, let, let me just remind council our standing orders only allow us to debate agenda items, i.e., what is on the agenda. The agenda item in front of us is to maintain, is to deal with a tree where there are, the clerk has said there are three decisions to be taken. In support of that, we have a report from the tree warden. We, it is not about relationships with people. If any councillor wishes to make a complaint about, about any, uh, other councillors, they can do that by the I disagree because Brooks, we represent please, those please, people please, and the only way they can get this please, solved is by bringing it to please, council and sit, it has been refused please, by council. If you wish, Can I ask you to no, get the email you, and distribute the email that Mr. and Mrs. Dawson asked every member of this council to read? If you wish to make a complaint, then... I'm not know. making a complaint. I'm representing a resident of this town well, then, who has an issue with a tree, and you're telling me I can't talk right. about their issue. Because at the moment it just looks like <coughs> somebody just wants it felt. There's well, a serious the chair, issue that you are trying to cover up. To sit down no, no, no. Right. Joyce, you and I have made a request for the emails to be distributed to all members, please. I have got a mild voice as well. Just a moment, let me just. Can you please look at that? The Councillor Brooks would like whatever this email is sent to all. No, members. I'd like it distributed at the meeting now, please, no, because that's it? what the resident requested. <clears throat> you have the floor, Joyce. Thank you. Right, so the new members, to put you in the picture, I am tree warden of this parish, and I'm one of three ward members for the North West Ward. Councillor Brooks is neither. I have never spoken to uh, the residents, and the residents have never spoken to me. Every time that I have been on this council, and that is 21 and a half years, now to get to the tree, 
Interesting. I, I wasn't there looking at the tree today. I was looking at a hedge. Uh, however, I did take a photograph of both trees. You have the report from uh, the um, uh, forestry officer. You have what I, I consider uh, a report from me about uh, knocking the tree in 2019. Now, cherry trees have to be knocked during the growing season. Only cherry trees. I've got it all in the report. Now, the trees were planting 20 years ago or more by the scouts. When I told the scout, now retired uh, scout leader, he was horrified to think that one resident wants that tree felt. Only one, because I've been talking to all the other residents, including the lady that complained about the hedge today. Uh, so, my recommendation is that no pruning will, be take, will take place if it was severely pruned. <clears throat> and that's why we've got leaf uh, fungal infection. It will manage to survive. So, not to prune it next growing season, but to prune it so much, if you look at the, it's not on the, the photograph, it will eventually all look the same. They are two cherry trees. Now the other thing is that I took it from that angle to show you that the tree that is in uh, dispute is further away from the fence than all the other trees. There is nothing wrong with this tree, it will survive, and it needs to be pruned in, in uh, 2019 to match the other tree. I hope I have made it clear. Thank you very right? much. Thank you. No, you Thank, you yes. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. I don't know if I should declare an interest. My, my dog is in this tree every day. <laughs> Twice a day. Uh, I understand that, 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 that it has been said that the, the tree is in there, and I saw from the residents as they looked through. Unfortunately, as, as Joyce knows, I, I played Mary Hell when it got locked because that was done before yes. I was on the council. I didn't know. Yes. And Thank yes, you. we do know it was, it was done too late in the season. That's why it does look a mess. Yeah. Um, the tree next to it is, is, is gorgeous. And, and I've had 15, 20 people stop me who used the park and are appalled that we're even considering telling a healthy tree. Um, so, so I will not be supporting this. I'm not happy with the pruning, but I have to take what the tree warden says as it's been the advice we have to take, and I take that one on the chin. But I will not be supporting the fact of the next few people. And yes. Well, first of all, I want to say that I've been told many times that we're only allowed to speak for three minutes on each thing, but that's a sad issue. Um, I'm looking at this tree, and it has been hacked and hacked. Mm -hmm. Anybody that knows anything about trees says that's been hacked. I would like to know A, who hacked it, B, who gave permission, and C, anybody that wants to put down a cherry tree wants shooting. Can and I it's not to... over in his garden. It's plenty far enough away from the house not to be a danger to his house. I can't believe it. Can I answer that? No, no, George, oh, right. not, on, not on the agenda. Um, any other comments? On the... no, I'll, I'll move. I'd, I'd like to move no, no further action, Chair. So, first of all, then, to take. So, the decision is out is just to prove. Take no action is to do nothing. The second one was to prove. During the 2019, the third one was to fill the tree. Taking no action means just to do nothing at all. Until the 19th. No, no, no. Sorry, I'll read. Is this not be seconded? I'll rephrase that. I'll be saying that I'll move that the no further action be taken until the 19th of October 2019. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
just ask one question about what we proposed in 2015. Right. This way, it was, well, no, because that is. I don't a, know why. That I can't, was a I resolution can't. that the was answered no, the bar. I don't know why. When can we ask the bar? Well, have, you, have you got the, what meeting you're referring to? When we, when it was one of my first council meetings when the same okay. residents if you, wrote if you would and like it was to, brought to council. If you would like to be. Let me not let me so say, it is, came to council and it was, it was approved by council that an annual maintenance of this tree, and unfortunately, somebody went away and butchered it using yeah. the words of Arnie Titchener. And who do you say, okay. Okay. please, Joyce, no, don't, I don't know. Just just I don't know who butchered it, but I, right. I'm not I'm happy that said. we don't do anything. It needs to be looked at, yeah. the fact that we did a resolution to so the right Well, it may do, but please, then please sit how down. do we resolve right. the so issue? Right, so take these one at a time. Do we have a, do we have a proposal to take no action? Right. Right. So, to take no action. Well, no, how many lots of it's in the table? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to read my, my resolution out. Um, no further action to be taken until... To fell the tree. To fell the tree. And the pruning is carried out. And the pruning is carried out. So you're all you're saying number, basically number two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can we vote on that? Yeah, yes, I've actually said the third tree is it's pruning in the yeah, I know, second that. which overrides all of the yeah. 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 resolutions that council passed. I seconded it. Okay, okay. 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 all those in favour? Against? Abstain? Abstain. Okay. okay. So, can you just put the third tree? Right, so, um, so no further action taken to fell the tree and pruning to be carried out in August 2019. Mm -hmm. yeah, is that the wrong action? That's basically what yeah. we're concerned about. Thank you for that. <laughs> but I'm not doing that. Councillor Brooks, the agenda on some We don't work is just agenda item 11. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, <coughs> well, uh, um, yeah. Um, basically, just on my report, we've been given um, permission to, to, to put new members onto the council. Um, so, the council standing order 32 sets up process which could be co-opted onto the council by interview. However, recently, um, we suspended that standing order to no one else to be co-opted in that interview. So, basically, the decision um, does the council wish to continue to co with that interview or do we wish to interview? Please, Mr. Yes, I, I think we should um, have some clarity in how we proceed here because I'm uneasy about it because it can lead to bias. In other words, we could, if we don't want a, a, someone to come on, we could say we'll interview them. On the other hand, we, you know, if someone good comes along, we say, yeah, fine, um, we'll just have a vote. So for consistency, we need to have go one way or the other. We either have interviews or we don't have interviews. It's not an option. Councillor Brooks? Um, I just wanted to check something. Um, the notice is outside and that was Andrew Bennett for Open South East Ward. And I don't think we've got the correct wards listed on here because I think uh, I, I meant to look this evening but I forgot to look. But I don't think the date has actually passed for residents to call the election for open no. south east board. I've got it back today funny enough. Um, oh is it just today? Yeah today. But then there's there's another ward as well can't we three with with three two, vacancies. Two for the south east and one for north east. It can't be two for south east isn't it? Because there's only two councillors and I'm south east and Oh, is it three? Yes. Sorry, I apologize. I was just thinking about it. So the babies is on two on South East and one on North East. And moving on to this. What? No, I'm not great. Two for South East. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking about it. And I got the email back from RCC today. So we've now got permission to co-opt for all three. Well, for the. So it is three, but it just says two new members on here. 
Yeah, because I want to give you permission. Okay, to no problem. Um, I, I would personally like to see a decision made whether because we can do it. Um, that this standing order is either kept and we stick to it or we scrap it um, so that we don't get this business of deciding because it can be seen that um, their members haven't had interviews. I don't personally like the interview process and I would like to see that it, it, that it is scrapped because yeah, I would like to see more of an open day where people come and get told what it involves in being a parish councillor and ask questions of the chairman, the clerk, or whatever, and then they decide whether they want to put their name forward to option. But ideally, I'd like them to actually go out and not trying to be too rude, like one of our councillors used rude language, um, get off the, you know, and, and call an election because to me it doesn't really show much. Okay. Commitment if you if you put it because they don't call an election just to be co opted, and it's the easy way. You, you know, if you really want to be a councillor, you should go out and call an election. It only requires 10 signatures. Okay, we'll get um, again. But, 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 but my thing is that uh, I'd like to come to a thing where we we personally would scrap interviews. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, thank you, <coughs> I can see where, where Peter's coming from. I mean, it, we do need to try and get some clarity. But the, the problem I have with, with, with it, I mean, to interview would be nice, but you're only going to interview if you've got a plethora of candidates. And, and the reason that, that people aren't calling an election is because, to be perfectly honest, people don't care. Mm -hmm. The apathy. I mean, you, you better, if you call an election, if you get a 30% turnout, you've had a good day. Mm -hmm. So. If, if, if I thought we, we had got five or six people knocking on the door saying we all want to be councillors, then I'd say let's interview. But we don't. We only, if we're lucky, if we get the one. Or <laughs> 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 and, and in which point, one volunteer is better than, than a press man, isn't it? You know, and I think, I just wonder if, if we're going to get a lot, then interview. If we're not going to get a lot, then let's see. Suspend the standing order. <coughs> um, I don't know how to put this because I was one of those that perhaps crept in through the back door. However, um, I suggest that maybe it would be a good idea to interview uh, because of what's gone on where I've been on the council, um, that it might be really easy to see what the person's like before they actually come on the council. What's like. <laughs> I was a bit surprised actually just to be sort of co opted yeah. like that without any sort of vetting or any submission of any background, let's say, that people could make a decision on. And, um, yeah. I'm quite happy to be co opted, but so perhaps in the interest of fairness, other people might yeah. have liked to have been considered also. How many times have we had open days and tried to get people onto this council? We have tried and we have tried, and we all know why half of them. Well, I know 18 people gave the same reason why they left, but there we are. I agree that it should be by interview. For the simple reason, I'm sorry to get out of you, oh, folks. But how many that we co opt on have actually sat and listened to what's going on? Nobody. Nobody. Ah, moi. Yeah, I'm <laughs> But this does also the fact that we need to have people on this council who are willing to stay on the council, come what may, and not to be 